What's up? It's Christopher Stone Fox Media. And very tragic, tragic gaming news right now. Super tragic gaming news. Before I get to that, let me tell you guys what's going on with this whole entire PlayStation experience. So basically, Titanfall 2 is set to be announced for PlayStation 4 is what people are wondering. Because they're in an interview with GameSpot, they basically came out there and said it's going to be great and it's for everyone. So people don't know if it's a part of the first person shooter that they're actually creating or if it's going to be Titanfall 2. But basically, no plans have been announced to, you know, talk about Titanfall 2. So, yeah. A lot of people are salty about this and like, no, it's not true. It's not true. And I'm like, listen. Listen, share. Does it really matter if it comes out for Xbox One or PlayStation 4 or PC? Even the Wii U. <laughs> Tight ball for the Wii U. <laughs> uh, no. But moving on to the actual tragic news right now. Australia has been taken over by feminazis. So yes, GTA 5 has been banned in Target and in Kmart. And all of them, by the way, over 200 stores, because violence against women and the criticisms have, you know, spurned a ban by the Australian retailers. So, yes, uh, this whole thing started when some crazy heifer came out there and said, um, please, Target, we, plea we appeal to you as women survivors of violence, including women who have experienced violence in the sex industry, to immediately withdraw GTA 5 from sale. And basically, it reads a line from the campaign, which has attracted about 40,000 signatures to this date. And Target got all spookified by it, and they basically banned it. And Kmart jumped right on top of it. I don't even know they even still made Kmart, so I'm just saying. And people have been petitioning them to keep selling the game. And here's their response. They came out there and they said... Um, some shoppers have spoken out uh, to say Target Australia should continue to sell the game. We respect their perspective on this issue. However, we feel like we don't give a damn what you have to say. Because you're not a feminist. That's what it says right there. You can sum it all up right there. That's what it says. So then he also came out there and said some other ridiculous comments like, you know, while these products contain imagery and some customers find expensive in the vast majority of cases, we believe that they are appropriate products for us to sell to adult uh, customers. However, in the case of GTA 5, we have listened to strong feedback from customers and, you know, this is not a project that we want to sell. Basically, feminazis have scared the crap out of us. Is this what's happening right now? This feminism thing is like, while well, respect feminists, feminazis are something completely different. They are the ones that are like, uh, it's all evil because it has prostitutes in it. People have been having prostitutes in GTA for like ever. Ever. And now it's a problem. Last year when it came out, no one said nothing. But now it's like, oh, we got to get rid of everything, please. You know what I want you, you guys to do it like take two, you know. What I want you guys to do, I want you guys to make the next GTA 6. And I want you to make this game about girls only. Girls only. Do you understand me? I'm going to send them a message. I'm going to say, look, girls only. You understand? GTA 6, girls only. Girl only cast. And I want them doing the most decrepit, wretched things a female could ever do. Chopping penises off, all kind of crazy stuff. I know it's wrong. I know it's wrong. But listen, listen. If they do this and not one feminist says one damn word about it, they will be the biggest hypocrites that have ever walked the planet Earth. This is an abomination to gaming as a whole. Now video games are drug into your political bullshit? Are you serious right now? I am livid right now. Because you have a whole entire country or whatever. I don't know where they are. But they don't get the whole entire game at all, basically. They got to go on a black market and buy from crackheads. Thank you very much, feminists. Thank you very much. I'm good. I'm good. I am going to continue doing my whole entire uh, anime shows and then my new shows, but yes, I had to get this. I'm not going to drop it this time. And yes, uh, that's my, you know, capture device. So basically I can like use snips and uh, parts from videos and from news articles and from news feeds where I can show what's going on in the video in actual video form while I make fun of it. Sorry, it's going to have it. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Facebook so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching and I will holler at y'all later.